Um, come back to my NXT release on uh, October 30th, October 30th, 2014, my NXT review. Uh, before I get, before I get to that, I want to remind, want to remind everyone to check out Great Duck Blue 60 on Facebook and Twitter. Check out Andre Corbeil, Chris Raymond Hernandez, and Big Bill Skyler with the Can and Watch Two Show every Saturday night. Mm. On the Andre Corbeil YouTube page, as well as the, uh, Facebook and Twitter accounts that should all be in the description along with your laptop one with and app one on Twitter. Uh, now, let's get to NXT. I believe that's all these plugs that I need to put out there. Let's get to NXT. We kick it off with, uh, with a number one contenders tag team battle royal. If one man goes over the top rope, his team is going to, his partner is going to, and it also, uh, the boss that the match consisted of the assistant, uh, uh, Wesley Blake, Wesley, the team of Wesley Blake, and, no, the team of Buddy Murphy, the team of Buddy Murphy, and Wesley Blake, the team of Jason Jordan and Ty Dillinger, and, uh, the team of Big Cat and Zoom Boy, as well as the Bob Dylan, uh, the Bob Dylan to pick up the win. When they need the attention as they were distracted by they are Tommy who once again came out onto the stage. But in the dis- distraction allowing both the Bob Dylan's to toss both the attention over the top rope. After the match is over, uh, uh Tommy uh washed the wing but what's got but got uh double king once again by the attention. Uh we move on to the next to uh Diva action and we have Carmella, the newest uh the newest WWE NXT Diva, trained by Big Cat and Enzo Amoy. Uh she forces Emma to tap out to a uh to her head to a submission move, I'm not sure what they call it. But uh she has the same move she beat uh Riva Bates right last week. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, when she did them on her stomach and grabbed them on her head scissors, it was painful and it forced them to tap out. After that, we have, mm. we have Bull Dempsey taking on Justin Gabriel, I guess uh, you could say uh, Justin Gabriel was back to his face uh, wall after being a hero in NXT for so long, uh, as he was keeping a type of kid. For a while, now back to playing the face, I guess. Or at least one night, uh, Bull Dempsey picked up the win with the, uh, flying headbutt. Uh, uh, Emma, eerily similar, uh, eerily similar to, uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. But, uh, uh, after that, we had Bailey, uh, backstage doing an interview. She challenges Sasha Banks. And Becky Lynch to face her next week again, I think. That's what she said next week. And she'll have Charlotte, the NXT champion, the NXT uh, women's champion, you know, for her as a tag team partner. She claims that she wants a shot to take on both both Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks in a tag team match. Uh, After that, we have the man who's been running rough shot over NXT. Uh, Mary Corbin, uh, picking up a win over a man by the name of Tony Wiggs. Uh, she beat Wiggs in under, in 20 seconds. I know that. Because the NXT crowd was actually counting how long the match went. They were counting, they were counting the seconds of the match. It lasted 20 seconds from the bell to the final count of three. Uh, but, uh, after that, we go on. And Marcus Ruiz at the best of the former, the former, uh, the former tag team partners who were once known as the Legionnaires, the fighting Legionnaires. Uh, Marcus Ruiz takes up a squash match victory over the best of the four after uh, being very upset with Marcus Lafour uh, for cost of uh, failing out of the tag team match. I guess, uh, Enzo and Big Cash, well, they were supposed to both get their heads shaved, but, uh, before 
laid out on a deal and let Marcus Janetel say, uh, 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 on his own, uh, after that, we had a day with Tommy backstage talking, uh, and, and he said he said he's tired of being, uh, double teamed in a cat funny ascension, and he will be playing in a plan with him to take on the ascension next week, uh, if you saw the video already, the video was put up about a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Uh, you would you know who he's talking about. I know who he's talking about. But for those that don't, I'm not going to ruin it. But for those who do, you know what I'm talking about. It's going to be awesome next week. But uh, in the main event, we got Sammy Zane taking on tight. Uh, taking on tight is on you. I just basically tossed Sammy Zane all, all over the ring, leading uh, to a pulp uh, for most most of the match. That, and that's how that's how most of Sammy Zane's matches go. Uh, he gets beat up a lot and then comes back to the final at the very end. That's what he did on him. That's that's what he hit did here in this match against Titus O'Neil, pitching Carter, and he uh. I, uh, now your belly position, position in the corner and tossed him back into the corner back first. He then lined him up and caught him with his Aruba kick for the, uh, victory, uh, for the pinball victory. After the match, Tyler Breeze came onto the stage and reminded Sammy Zane and the West of us that, that, that Tyler Breeze is the only man. No, uh, Sammy Zane has failed to be, failed to begin since coming to next week. And next week, they will go one on one by order of the, by order of the, uh, tag team general manager, Liam Weevil, Tyler Breeze, and Sammy Zane will go one on one mm -hmm. in the main event next week. And I can't wait to see how that turns out. Who's gonna get a shot at the NXT championship at the, uh, Next, uh, NXT, uh, special coming up, uh, you know, couple, uh, a couple weeks from now, NXT Evolution, NXT TakeOver 3 Evolution is in a couple weeks, and one of these two men, Tyler Breeze or Sami Zayn, will get the next title match at that, at that, uh, show against uh, Adrian Neville for the NXT Championship. But until next time, I'm out here. I'll be back for my review tomorrow or whenever you see this for SmackDown. And I have a big surprise for everyone during that during that uh, review. It's gonna be a special Halloween edition of SmackDown. It's gonna be a special Halloween edition of my video, of my review for SmackDown. So check out that video coming. Tomorrow, sometime. But until then, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought of the show. I'm out of here.